Wouldn't it be nice if your ComfyUI workflows would run 50% faster? If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, then this dream can become true. To achieve this, we are installing Triton and Sage Attention. Both are technologies that optimize GPU calculations in neural networks. To do this, first make sure you have the latest version of your GPU driver from NVIDIA. Next, we need to download Python 3.12. So go to this URL here and scroll down until you find the right installer. If you're on Windows, then use the 64-bit installer. I can't show you the installation of Python 3.12 because I already have it. So it says modify up here instead. The last thing we need is Git. So go to this URL and click on the installer you need. In my case, Windows and here x64. So when installing Git, all you need to do is click next and next again and next again and next and again. Do this a couple of times until you actually can install it. You can leave everything as the default settings here. Instead of downloading the portable package, we are installing it manually. So to do this, click on code and then click this copy URL to clipboard icon. Then type git clone and paste the URL we copied from GitHub and hit enter. Now we enter the folder with the ID comfyui, hit enter. And here we are going to create a new virtual environment by typing pi minus 3.12 minus m vnf vnf and we hit enter. And now we type call vnf backslash scripts backslash activate and we hit enter. For the next command, we go to the ComfyUI GitHub page and we scroll down until we see NVIDIA install. So it's here and we copy this future Chris here. Some things changed in ComfyUI and you need to install PyTorch 2.8 now with this command. There will be another change later in the video. Back in our console window, we paste this and hit enter. If this is all too complicated for you, I have a one-click installer for my Patreon supporters. Just saying. So this took about three minutes on my machine. We grab this command here, pip install requirements, and we paste it again here and we hit enter. So what we have now achieved is we have a fully working ComfyUI version, but we are not done yet. This is just ComfyUI and the basics. In earlier versions of ComfyUI, Triton came pre-installed, so we need to check by pip uninstall slash y Triton. So apparently it's not installed. So then let's install it by typing pip install minus capital U quotes Triton minus smaller 3.5 quotes enter. Then we need to visit this repository here for Sage attention. If you scroll down, you will see releases because now we need the wheel in order to get Sage attention to run. We need to select the right one for our Python and CUDA version. If you are unsure which version you have, you can use this command here. Python minus C quotes import torch print torch version and hit enter. So we have torch version 2.7.1 and CUDA version 12.8. So we need to download future Chris here again. So if you have listened to me before and installed PyTorch 2.8, then grab this wheel up here. You can download it by clicking on it. Now just throw the downloaded file into your ComfyUI folder. So that's easiest to find then. And let me show you a little trick here. Type pip install and then type sage and hit tap on your keyboard and it will autocomplete to this one. This only worked because I have only one Sage attention file. If I had multiple, I had to write more before I could hit tap. 
and then let's hit enter. So in theory we are finished but Compure is nothing without the manager so we type cd cus hit tab enter and here we visit another repository the Comfui manager and we click again here on code copy url to clipboard and we say git clone and we paste it hit enter so and now we have a working manager so but how do we start Comfui? there isn't our batch file that says run nvidia gpu that we are used to so we need to create one here do a right click and say new and say text file so and we call it start.bat make sure it doesn't have another ending like txt it has to be dot bat so yeah i changed the extension it's all right now we need to edit our file so do a right click and in my case i'm using notepad plus plus and here I have a new empty file. In the first line we write call the env scripts activate. This will activate our virtual environment each time when we start comfui. And then we type python main.py. This will start up the comfui server. So and then I would like to put a pause in the end. So because otherwise if Comfui crashes unexpectedly the window wouldn't just close. It would go to pause and we could read the last error message. Make sure you save your file. Make sure that this file is inside of your Comfui folder. So I do a double click. And here you can say it started my virtual environment and now it's starting up ComfUI. So it has to install some dependencies for the ComfUI manager. And yeah, this could take a while. Um, yeah, but then it will start. Unless you get an error like this. This is a binding problem because I have another comfy instance running so I have to close my other console window in order to start it up. Um, let's do this and do again. So this time it should be much faster. Yeah, and it is. So yeah, here it says to see the GUI go to this URL. And what I'm going to do now is I make control left mouse button and then a new browser window should open and should look similar to this, maybe a little less red, but we will get into that now. So what did we win? Um, first of all, let's test it with this van 2.2 workflow. Uh, I need to go to the manager up here and I need to say install missing custom nodes and then I click up here and install the eight packages that are missing. This will take a while. So the van video model loader from the van video wrapper nodes already has this attention mode sage attention built in. Without sage attention I would have set this to SDPA which is the standard attention mechanism. Let's see, I would set this here to 1280. And for the input image, I'm going to pick this one here. So, and then I will hit run. And as you can see, it runs quite fast here. So we are currently in the... So this is our output image. And when I look at my console, I can see it took 212 seconds, so uh, three and a half minutes. I think it's great because without Sage attention, it would take me at least 10 minutes for the same video. Using it with Van Video is one way to use it, but you can also use it in image workflows. How can you use it in image generation? So let's see you have this simple workflow here for flux dev. So all you need to do is make a double click and here search for KJ load. All you have to do is do a double click and then look for diffusion model loader by KJ. 
I forgot to mention this, you need to go to manager, custom notes manager, and you need to install the KJ notes here, ComfyUI KJ notes. I will put a link in the video description. And this note here, it has Sage Attention built in. So instead of disabled, we say Sage Attention Auto, and then all we need to do is connect it with the case sampler. So, and this works. Of course, we need to select Flux 1Dev, and when I click Run, the workflow runs through, and it's a lot faster. So the initial load time will stay, of course, but instead of 10 seconds, uh, one image only takes seven seconds on my 5090. Oh, okay, it took eight seconds. So how long does it take if I turn Sage Attention off? Let's see and find out. So it took 10 seconds instead of eight, which is quite the improvement in my opinion. It's 20% increase. But what if you have a GGUF model instead of an FP8 or FP16 model? This is also possible. Just type patch and just say patch sage attention. So basically you need to use the GGUF model. I don't have a GGUF model installed and I don't have a loader installed. But all you need to do is connect the model with this and then connect it to the next node. I don't know, the case sampler or the LoRa loader, whatever is next in line for you. This way you can use Sage Attention wherever you want with every model basically. I mean, not every model gets the same speed increase. I mean, for Van Video, it's like a 50% speed increase. For Flux, it's 20%, so it will be somewhere in between. For some models like SDXL, it may be only 10%. Yeah, you have to try out for yourself.